Once upon a time, in the age when the ancient gods reigned over the earth, there lived a mighty Sumerian king named Gilgamesh. His kingdom was the grand city of Ura, nestled amidst the fertile lands of Mesopotamia, Gilgamesh. A demigod born of the union between the priest king Logobanda and the goddess Ninshun stood tall and majestic, his presence commanding awe and reverence. In Uruk, Gilgamesh erected magnificent ziggurat temples that reached towards the heavens, their towering structures a testament to his power and ambition. Surrounding the city, high walls stood as sentinels, guarding its inhabitants from external threat. Within these walls, Gilgamesh cultivated lush orchards bearing rare fruits, turning Uruk into a paradise amidst the arid landscape. Yet despite his divine lineage and unparalleled strength, Gilgamesh was not immortal. His arrogance knew no bounds, and he ruled over his subjects with a heavy hand, demanding unwavering obedience and adulation. His hubris led him to indulge in hedonistic pleasures and tyrannical behavior, causing suffering and resentment among the people of Uruk. The citizens, weary of Gilgamesh's cruelty and excesses, cried out to the gods for deliverance. Moved by their prayers, the celestial god Anu intervened, decreeing that a being be created to challenge Gilgamesh's reign of tyranny. Thus, the goddess Aruru fashioned Enkaidu from clay, a creature of both man and beast, wild and untamed. Enkidu, with his primitive appearance and animalistic instincts, roamed the wilderness, living among the creatures of the land. He knew no human civilization, his existence bound to the untamed realms of nature. However, fate intervened when Shamhat, a priestess of Uruk was sent to tame him. Shamhat, guided by divine providence, succeeded in civilizing Enkidu, introducing him to the ways of humanity. Through her guidance, Enkidu learned to wear clothes, speak, and partake in the customs of civilization. In time, he became aware of Gilgamesh and the suffering inflicted upon the people of Uruk by the king's tyranny. A confrontation between Gilgamesh and Enkidu became inevitable leading to a clash of titans that shook foundations of Europe. For seven days and seven nights, they battled relentlessly, their blows echoing across the land. Yet, amidst the chaos of their conflict, a bond formed between them, forged in the crucible of Recognizing each other's strength and valor, Gilgamesh and Enkidu set aside their differences, embracing a newfound camaraderie. Together, they embarked on legendary adventures, facing trials and tribulations that tested their courage from battling ferocious monsters to overcoming insurmountable odds. They stood as equals, united in their quest for justice and redemption. But the specter of mortality loomed over Gilgamesh, driving him to seek immortality in a desperate bid to evade death's embrace. Their journey took them to the ends of the earth, where they confronted demons, gods, and the very forces of nature itself. Yet, despite their efforts, they ultimately learned that mortality is the fate of all beings and that true immortality lies in the legacy one leaves behind. Returning to Uruk, Gilgamesh embraced his role as a benevolent ruler, determined to atone for his past transgressions and honor the memory of his fallen comrade, Enkidu. He ruled with wisdom and compassion, ensuring the prosperity and well-being of his people for generations to come. And so the tale of Gilgamesh and Enkidu, their epic journey and enduring friendship, became legend, passed down through the ages as a testament to the enduring power of camaraderie and the inevitability of mortality.